All right, welcome to exchange rates. Uh, I'm hoping to simplify the exchange rates because I realize that learners make a lot of mistakes around the exchange rates. They're not sure whether to multiply or divide by the conversion. So I think the easiest way we need to do this will be to use the table and do the cross, uh, cross method. Okay, so the exchange rate is given. If $1 is 20 cents, we need to convert. Okay, so let's start there. The given conversion goes into the first row. Just one dollar is equal to nineteen rands twenty cents. So if you want to convert rands, we put rands under rands. We've got five hundred twenty-five. So we're gonna multiply by one, and then we're gonna divide by nineteen rand twenty. So we've got five two five times one divided by nineteen. 20. Okay, so if you go to your calculator quickly, you can work this out. We should be 0, 0,27 uh, cents. So zero comma twenty seven dollars. All right. So that's going to be. We'll do be the same way. Still using the same exchange rate, but now we want to convert the dollars to rands. So remember, the given exchange rate must go in the first row. So you've got one dollar. Again, still using the same exchange rate on top. There is nineteen rands twenty cents. But this time we must convert the dollars. So we put the dollars under dollars, $6,315. We must exchange this to rent. So we multiply across and then we will divide sideways. So we will take $6,315. We'll multiply by 19.20. We'll divide one. Um, so let's see what answer we get. So this will be 121,248. So when we exchange those dollars to rent, we'll get 121,248. All right, for grade 12s, uh, exchange rates can also be presented as it is on the right. So let me just show you how to deal with it if it's presented uh, like it is on the right here. Okay, notice that you've got two columns. One has units per pound. So units of rent per pound. And the other one has pounds per unit of rent. So the two are just the opposite of one another. In fact, let me show you what happens if we take the inverse. So if we would take one and put it over 22, comma, 522, five you'll see that we'll get the number that is in the last column because the two columns are just the opposite of one another for one you present rents per pound and for the other you present pounds per rents so it's just the opposite so this we can also do so uh, i'm going to use the first column i'm going to use this column first this one okay here we've got units so in other words, we need to take that number. Uh, so that will be rent. Remember the part that has per as a one. So it says units per pound. So in other words, for one pound. So how many units for one pound? It will be 22,5225 rents per pound. Now we can use our crisscross method again to solve this. If you want to exchange... Pounds for rent, we'll put pounds under pounds, so we've got 45 uh, and 25 pounds. Okay, so if we uh, do the crisscross method again, we multiply and then we divide. So multiply across and then divide sideways, we will get 45.
So this would be 1,018 and 2 tenths. All right, uh, let's uh, go on to the last question now. Uh, and for this question, I'm going to use the last column. And again, if you can remember it like this, the one that has a per. So here we have pounds per unit. So in other words, pound per rent, right? Because remember, the units are rents. So the one that has a per, this time the units or the rents have the per, per unit. So which means for one rent, for one rent. We've got how many pounds? We've got zero, comma, zero, triple four. And if we want to convert the rent to pounds, remember rents must go under rents. So we've got 374 rents, and then we're going to multiply across and divide sideways. I'm going to do that off screen. Okay, so then it will be 16 and 61 pounds. All right, thank you very much.